Good evening, Golden Bears. I'm Julia McEwen. And I'm Audrey Mayer. Join us today as we take a closer look regarding the physical and mental pressures on athletes in intercollegiate sports. Part two will include an in-depth investigation and interview with the mastermind behind food preparation and nutrition of Cal football. This, this is, is Cal, Cal TV, TV Sports. My name is Camille Rodell Willis, and today I am with Jamie Hummer, the Cal football chef. So Jamie, can you give me a brief history of the food and nutrition plan for the Cal football players? Everything that we do here is based on the nutritionists that we work with, um, their input, and our creativity that we put into our dishes. So from your perspective, what is the greatest program in order for an athlete to cut weight, gain weight, and also maintain weight? Well, to lose weight, we usually uh, steer them towards more vegetables, more uh, leaner proteins, um, um, less carbs, and a less sweets um, to keep them away from the sugared cereals and uh, desserts that we do provide for them. So what do you feel that the athletes struggle with most when it comes to being physically and mentally fit and prepared to play on the field? That's on a day-to-day -day basis. They're, I mean, their schedules through their classes that they have to t maintain and take, um, their workouts that they have to uh, go through. I mean, they're very, very strenuous. Um, also, just the uh, fact that they have to um, perform at the highest level. Working here at the Cal Football Stadium, are you able to build a rapport with the athletes? We have, we have a great rapport with the athletes. Um, they are very respectful. They are very mindful of how they act around us. We are mindful of the way we act around them, and we uh, do a lot for them. I've even taken a couple of them fishing. After sitting down with Chef Hummer, we talked to a Cal football player about his personal eating habits and being a member of the Cal football team. Football was very important to me and everybody around me and in my neighborhood and in my city. It was, you know, it just came first in front of everything else. I first started playing football in fourth grade, so when I was around nine years old. It wasn't so much that I knew, it was so much that I had to, you know, to make it out and, you know, get a college education. and you know, do stuff for my mom and dad and be able to, you know, put myself through college. Um, you know, it's a lot different than high school, but I um, mean, you know, just a very fast-paced program and the coaches are always on you, you know, weight room-wise and on the field-wise and, um, you know, it's just, it's very fun and, you know, it's just, it's just a different process, you know, it's just, it's like growing up, you know, growing up again. When I committed back in um, February, I was 205, and you know, generally a defensive end in the Pac-12 is probably around like 240, 250. So um, it was like a large, you know, weight gap. And um, you know, coming in, the coaches kind of told me, you know, you can gain it gradually. You know, you probably won't play this year, and um, but they wanted me like around 240, 245, and um, that's when I just started eating and just shoveling it down and just trying to get bigger. Usually, I wake up around seven or eight. I eat like three bagels cream cheese and chili, um, lunchtime, um, it just depends what we have, um, have a sandwich or maybe some chicken fingers or something like that, I'll probably get like two helpings of it, and then um, probably snack, you know, snack throughout the day, you know, either candy or just protein bar or something like that, and then uh, for dinner, usually whatever there is, either it's fish or chicken or steak, and I usually get it for, you know, around two, two plates. Um, coaches, yeah, you hear it every day, you see them, you know, every time you see them, every meeting, every time you go on the field, every time in the weight room, you know, because, you know, every time in the weight room, we have to weigh in, you know, every day, so, just, you know, just when you weigh in, coach always, you know, makes a joke or just a, you know, smart, you know, uh, remark about our weight, and, um, you know, it's a big deal, and, you know, for yourself, it's a big deal, and for the coaches, it's a big deal, and, you know, it's not too much pressure, but you know you have to get it done. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for part three of our documentary series.